many people say only follow Jesus don't follow other voices but what about them do they want you to follow them or ascribe to what they're saying when they follow say we must be careful about following other voices we must be careful about other Christians don't worry about other churches just follow Jesus just believe in Jesus but those who are actually following Jesus and obeying him and listening to his voice they attack and they criticize and they say don't follow them but again I say what about the people telling you that do they want you to follow them let's not be hypocritical people and let's not you're, you're saying one thing and the same thing you're contradicting what you're saying we all know as Christians that Jesus is the one we are to follow we all know it says for us to turn away from sin hate what is evil cling to what is good but they speak as if they're on a higher pedestal than you and they speak you know in a certain tone to try to belittle other people uh, to bring them down to a lower level but Jesus said he opposes the proud but he gives grace to the humble I thank God that I'm not well polished in my words and my speaking. That I come to you in weakness of flesh and not not in the, you know, great sayings of men. But I come down to earth and plain. And these are the people Jesus came for, the, the, the uh, humble people. The people that are proud and think they know it all. And they have all the answers about Jesus to tell you these things. And say, don't follow all, all those other people. Just follow Jesus. Are really hypocritical because they're wanting you to also listen to them and and listen to me guys I'm in my natural way of doing things I can be a loner by natural prophetic people are pretty intense people I can be a loner by natural and say let's not listen to anybody let's just follow Jesus but listen uh, Christian the world does not work that way God put us in a family of believers for a reason. Now, are we to uh, take anybody's word for it over Jesus? No, we're to go to Jesus and listen to him first. But if we go to Jesus and if we're following and listening to first, he has the ability to, uh, he has the ability to give us discernment to know who is speaking from the Lord and who is speaking from their flesh. And many of you guys, that are making these videos and doing this you're speaking from your flesh you've had a bad experience somebody's burned you at church or something and jesus let me be clear jesus says if you cannot forgive others of their sins neither will you heavenly father forgive your sins if you can't forgive others from your heart neither will you heavenly father forgive your sins and so if you've been hurt christian by church members and now you're going on and doing your own videos and attacking other people and say don't listen to other people just follow Jesus you need you need to repent and you need to humble yourself because Jesus has a body of believers for a reason he leaves he leaves a remnant his which are not many but a remnant of his born again repentant humble children who follow him in spirit and truth he's left them on the earth to do a work the same person you Christian who were telling people don't follow other voices you're still at the same time wanting to listen to at least some measure of what you're saying and take it to heart and come to Jesus in some kind of way so do not be a hypocrite and do not divide what Jesus is trying to bring together because Jesus has his body on the earth for a reason he hasn't snatched us up in the clouds he wants his body to not be hypocritical and not fight and devour one another, but instead come together in love and preach his message to his people. Do not divide people when they come to Jesus, whether they come uh, to Jesus directly or whether they listen to a message and they hear it and they repent. And, and so do not be hypocritical, Christian. The world does not work that way. The Christians were told to go out and disciple other people and, and lead them back to Jesus where they could follow Jesus personally. So at some point in the, of 
some point in time we've heard a message through another person and we've got the gospel through another means we read it uh, at one point and we believed it but those men other men had to do their part and write it down and tell us about jesus so do not be hypocritical when you're doing this because jesus doesn't have any room for hypocrites in his kingdom we must be holy and the bible says go and love one another and they're they're I'm speaking to you, Christian, who are making these videos. You need to get the love of God back in you. And forgive if somebody's hurt you, forgive them. If you want people to follow only Jesus, Jesus was not a proud person. He was a very humble person. He was very holy, but he was very humble. He ate and sat and drank with tax collectors and sinners. But uh, the ones that were humble and willing to repent. And he said that the harlots, the publicans, go into the kingdom of God before you. For they heard the word, they repented, they believed. But many, many, I'm speaking to you Christians who are making these videos, say don't follow other voices, follow only Jesus. Follow only Jesus and criticize others who are actually following Jesus and listening to the Holy Spirit and speaking his words you say you know the voice of Jesus, good for you. But do you know the voice of the Holy Spirit? And do you have enough discernment to tell when he's speaking of uh, through his people? Can you tell the difference? Many cannot tell the difference when Jesus is speaking unless he's quoting Bible verses. Unless he's saying things exactly with the word. They don't know how to follow the Holy Spirit when he's speaking in a way that is not plain to them for if he were to say there's a fire in your house run uh get out of that house they wouldn't get out because they would say where's the bible verse for that where's the bible verse for this they did not know how to hear the voice of the holy spirit practically if you cannot hear the voice of the holy spirit practically christian doesn't matter how many videos you make on this subject or how much you do it's not going to do you any good Let's not be hypocrites. Jesus put us in a body for a reason, the body of believers. And we're to get our information up from Jesus first to make sure it's correct. But that doesn't mean at the end of the day, we toss each other to the side and we just get up in a cave and listen to Jesus and stay in that cave. God created us for fellowship. And if you don't like fellowship, Christian, down here, you're not going to like it in heaven. The Lord took me up there, and these are brothers and sisters that are together up there. They're together worshiping the Lord, together talking of Him. And believe it or not, they're together teaching each other. There's different levels in the heaven of understanding the Word, and we all need each other. It's the same down here. And if you cannot believe this Word, it's because you have no revelation of the holy spirit if you say follow only jesus and do it get into his word really listen to him and get your own experiences so you can learn how to hear from the holy spirit practically speaking on what is him and what is not